To record a meeting in Microsoft Teams, we're gonna go to the more options on the top of our meeting. So right now I have a meeting open. I'm gonna click my more options and I have the ability to record and transcribe. So we'll hover over that. And then I'm able to start the recording and start a transcription at the same time. Now being able to transcribe your meeting, that might be a feature that has to be turned on by your admin, but you are at least able to go ahead and start recording your meeting. So it's saying starting recording and transcription. Other folks in the, con uh, in the meeting will get notified the meeting's being recorded. And up in the upper right hand corner, you'll get uh, a little, I'm gonna close out of that transcript. Uh, you'll get a little red dot up in the corner saying the meeting is being recorded. Um, you'll see record and transcribe. So you can stop recording, start transcription, and also show the transcription if you'd like to, completely up to you. Uh, but those are the options there. Now I bet you're wondering, once my meeting is over, where can I access this recording? So I'm gonna close out of this. Um, close out of my meeting here, and I'm actually going to grab this meeting from earlier, and I believe there is a recording attached to it. Uh, oh, maybe not for this one. So our meeting recordings are actually accessible in a couple different ways. So if I grab um, the check-in meeting, that's where we were recording. I can go under, uh, I'm going to say, if I go into my chat, once the recording is done, um, it's saving the recording and you can go to your chat and you'll find the recording and transcript both available for you in chat. So anyone can access that there. You also can jump over to, so this PowerPoint review meeting I had earlier, you can see that in the meeting info, you can see the recording, the transcript, and the attendance is all available to you in that details pane, as well as in the chat, you can um, have the option for that. Uh, you can have the option for the meeting recording. So it's very helpful. You can access them at any point. You, as the meeting uh, organizer, can set the meeting the meeting recording to expire, as well as um, you can view or change that expiration date just by clicking on the video and it'll open up inside of Microsoft Stream. And then you can adjust those so you can um, make sure that meeting doesn't go away or expires however you want that to work.